Hey guys, welcome to Fantasio Cinemas, and today I'm going to be talking about something a little different. Even though I don't do talk shows, this isn't a talk show. It's a review. Alright, let's get to, down to this. I'm sure you saw the label of the video. But... I didn't tell you about what I was reviewing. So, or did I? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay, I'm reviewing the Lancer M4. Oh, I love this gun. Beautiful. So, I can't tell you how good it is quite yet, because I've only had it for a few hours. But I can tell you what I, what I can see, and what you can see. So, pretty much... What I like about this gun is it has a full metal gearbox in here, obviously the gearbox is in there, and it is very heavy, I like that, it's nice and heavy, feels like a real gun, pretty much, I mean like, except for the fact that the outside isn't quite metal, so, it isn't metal, the inside's metal, so, the outside's not, but, uh, out of the box, this thing shoots 380 FPS with 20 gram rounds. I love it. So, 380 FPS out of the box with 20 gram rounds for a hundred bucks. Actually, $99.99, but a cent off doesn't matter because it's the same. But who cares? Anyway, but it's a hundred bucks for this gun for 380 FPS with 20 gram rounds out of the box. Very impressive. I was very impressed. I was I was expecting the reviews to like go down because. Yeah, the outer construction is plastic. Hear that? That's plastic. It's plastic. You'd think it's just going to break. No, it's not going to break. It's it's high quality plastic. I mean, high quality ish. I mean, for like a professional airsoft geek, he's going to be like, uh, 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 plastic, blah, blah, blah. But if you want a gun right now, get this. It's only 100 bucks. Shoots 380 FPS. Only thing is the outside's made of plastic. Who cares? But the barrel is actually made completely out of metal. Flash hider is plastic. I'm going to have to replace that for movies purposes. Purposes. This is, but, yes. And the stock is plastic. Handle is plastic. Uh, the stock and this aren't as high quality plastic as this. But, I don't know why. But, who cares. But, anyway. Uh, yeah, so the only metal parts are the interior which is okay with me. If the whole thing was plastic, I would have just, like, not bought it. But it's metal on the inside, so that's good. It's crispy on the inside. But anyway, um, what else is good? Oh, yes, the magazine. Very high-quality magazine. It's a really important thing to get a gun with a good magazine. Because if you got a gun with a bad magazine, what you going to do on the field? No magazine. You're not going to shoot anything, that's for sure. Unless you, like, drop bullets into the hole bring the chamber for it. I don't even think you can do that with a machine gun. You're going to be able to fire one shot upside down. No, it's not going to work. So you got to have a good magazine. This magazine is made out of metal. Very nice. It feels cold to the touch and you're like, oh, yes, metal. But anyway. Um, yes, and it doesn't have one of those stupid things where you're only able to use a speed loader and like like where you just put it down. And No, it doesn't do that it's better. You can fill that up just like that. Fill it up, shut it, stick it in the gun, and then twist it right up, and you're good to go. So, I like that much better than pulling it out and doing that fancy thing where you pull it back and then like shake it around for like 10 years. No, I like this better. So, and some people kind of complain about their guns, the magazine not going in all the way and all it kind of shifts up and down and it like messes up the feeding completely. Oh, I hate that. That messes up your gun. Like, you can't do anything. Especially with snipers. But this gun? No, listen to this. Put it in. Oops. No. It doesn't go up and down. It stays firmly in. Goes from side to side slightly. You just put a piece of tape on it. But who cares? Just like that, let's see. But that's like, ever so slightly. I probably wouldn't even have to put tape on it, but who cares, I might. But, 
Yeah. Um, what else is there? It came with a shoulder strap, but it's kind of a low quality shoulder strap, so I might not even use it. And I actually don't even know where to attach it to the back. I'm gonna sound like a noob and say that. <laughs> but they don't even have like a place to put it on the back. So anyway, and another cool feature. I didn't know this until I bought the gun, but the spot back of the stock comes off, and then you've got room for two lipo batteries. You can stay on the field longer, and you've got better FPS with two batteries. So, I probably won't get two batteries yet, because I just don't need to. And speaking of batteries, here's the out-of-the-box battery, which is good. It, it, I've been, people have recommended that I get another one, but I don't really need to right now. But, if you get the special box, you can, the special package of this gun, you can get like the smart charger, the butterfly battery, but that costs 150 bucks, and I didn't want to pay 150 bucks. I wanted to get it right now. So, I got it right now, and I got what I paid for. Just a standard wall charger and a battery. Four hours of charge time and a decent, I don't know how long. I'll just have to tell you when I get into a fight sometime. But, yeah, yeah I like going Ugh, when I pick up my gun instead of going, woo. I hate picking up light guns. And the gun also came with these a bag of 20 gram rounds. High quality 20 gram rounds, surprisingly. I guess Lancer's good with that. Because I bought a, a pistol for a movie the other day. Just a crappy $30 pistol. And, yeah, it wasn't worth 30 bucks. I would have priced that at 15 bucks. Thing broke, like, the first day. Wasn't even in any movies yet. In any movies. Actually, one of my friends, like, broke the slide off, too. And I was like, oh. Yeah, that's why nobody's touching this gun. But, except for me. So, but anyway. It comes with very high quality... Uh, 20 gram rounds, and the reason I brought up that I brought it, that I bought a 30 dollar crappy pistol was, it came with these disgusting rounds. I could just see that they were bad, by the color. They had this like really bad blue paint. They were paint? No, you don't paint plastic bullets. No, it was colored blue, the plastic, and it was like really crappy plastic. You could just tell by seeing it. And then when I held it, there were some with seams. Seams. You don't have seams on bullets. That'll mess up the inside of your gun. So, it was like a bag around this big. Not, no, it wasn't a bag. It was a container. But literally, I just like dumped it into the trash. It was funny. I was just like, ain't nobody got time for that. But anyway, uh, anything else? Yes, it has adjustable hop up. I know a lot of you will be asking the same question. And I really like the way it opens, it's quite fancy. But, uh, it doesn't lock back, in case you're wondering. Uh, and it's also cool for movies, because if you see, it's like, metal. And, it's quite fancy. But, yes. And, oh, sorry, you didn't see probably. In there, right there, that little wheel you're seeing. I'm not sure if you can see that, right there. That's the hop-up. You turn it, and then... I'm sure a lot of you have owned a gun like this and you know, but just in case you haven't, that's how it works. I didn't really know, I had to read the instructions, because I've never owned an automatic, so I've only owned spring pistols and like spring guns. No, I've owned a CO2 pistol once. It was 400 FPS, quite a shame when it broke. Only got it for 40 bucks, but anyway, yeah, this is a very good gun. I would very much recommend getting it. Like. If you can see past the slightly cheaply made outside, get it. I will probably, in the far future, if this gun lasts that long, which it probably will, I don't know, I might do some mods, get another stock that's, like, actually made out of metal. I don't know. I might get a new whatever you call this thing. I'm not a gun expert, guys, so I'm sorry. But I might get another front for the gun barrel cover thing of a bobber of the if that's a word. I don't think so. And I'm probably gonna get a new flash hider, like I said. Like a metal one that's black instead of orange. So I can make movies with it. Cause you all know I love making movies, so but the question is do I make good movies? I don't know. But anyway, so if you have any more questions about this gun, then leave them in the comments and 
I know when I buy airsoft guns, I like to look at the reviews on it on a website, go to another website, look up the gun, look at those reviews, kind of match them up and see if they are right. And then if they're good, then I'll be like, hmm, this gun, I might get it. And then I'll look on YouTube, look at a review like this, and then see if it actually, because I want to see someone handling it and see if it's good. But I'm handling it. It's a good gun, I can assure you of that. So I'm going to put links in the description and what buy this gun. So see you next time.